Hey guys, welcome back. This is day four, functional cardio day. We're going to be doing three exercises, and we're going to do it the same just like day three, 20 seconds each on the exercises, do them nonstop, and then we're going to rest for 60 seconds, and then we're going to do it again. And we're going to do 10 sets total. The first exercise we're going to do is high knees, and second exercise we're going to do is half burpees. Third one is going to be a reverse crunch to go ahead and develop some lower abs. Ready to get going? Yep. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and start my little timer, my little gym boss, and go. Love these seats, easy to use. Notice how high Dan's getting on his high knees. So, if you like, you want to get him as high as you can, and Dan's going way above his belly button. Um, if you can get it up to about here, you're doing pretty good already. So. And you notice Dan has his knees out. If you want to make it harder, put your knees in like this. Contracts his abs a lot more this time. And the last thing, you can reverse crunch. Lay on your back, feet together, hands. Okay, there you go. And you want to keep your feet together. There you go. And just tap the ground. Good, just like that. And the trick, guys, is to go ahead and point your toes out and have it tap the ground. And you want to always make sure you have a point of contact with your calf and your hamstrings. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this also one time for y'all guys. And remember, we're gonna do 10 sets. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate two. You got eight left. <laughs> so let me go ahead and pause this really quick here and we will get going. All right. Ready and here, why don't you go on to this, Dan? See the high knees here. Uh, this day today should be a little easier than uh, the last day, but it should still be a good workout. You should still be breathing pretty hard. And again, Mike has a pretty good pace on this on these high knees. If you can do that, that's great. If you can't quite keep that pace, that's good too. The yeah, important thing though, we went right into it. And remember, guys, you're going at your own pace. So if you're tired, you can just go like this. That's the good thing about doing the exercises based on time. Because eventually as you're doing them more often, you'll be able to do them faster and you'll be able to get more reps in the same amount of time. But this way you don't have to worry about counting and you're always in control of how much time you use for your workout. So, 10 sets of these, really good way to get the cardiovascular going. You can do this at home, you don't really even need to go to the gym. And uh, that's it. We'll see you in phase two.